What is good guys? So today I figured we'd go on a little bit of an excursion. We're in Akihabara and it has been so long since I've been here. But besides all of the geeky kind of like, you know, fun stuff here with anime, manga and electronics, I'm here because of UDX. It's an underground car park here and they have a lot of meets here from time to time. And they have a lot of meets here from time to time. And I got wind that there was one today so I figured we'd make the trip up and check it out. Okay, damn, there's, there's a bunch of European stuff here. Yo, that's kind of cool. Model, pictures, things like that. Whoa! I am definitely out of my game here. I feel like I rocked up to something where I thought there'd be a lot of JDM stuff and there definitely is not. This is cool though. Yeah, I need to learn my, uh, my European stuff for sure. That's a really sick wrap though. Very cool. I totally feel out of place in here. Oh, damn. I know what this is, it's an E30. <laughs> That's about all I know. At least this guy got the memo. Wang game. Love it. Super cool. Yo. Damn, Phil, where you at, man? This is like totally your gig. Lots of cool BMWs. Yo, 2JZ swap. <laughs> I know what that is, at least. That's cool. Nothing like a good old Merc with a 2J. And everything is so clean and well done. This is kind of rare to see in Japan. This is really nice. And uh, if you see this little trick that they do here with the bov, and they pipe it so that it's pointing straight back into the compressor housing, that's to reduce lag when you come off throttle on the deceleration. It sends all the air back into the turbo to re-spool it. Really cool. Wow, this thing's nice. I really need to learn more about BMWs for sure. WB Porsches. I wonder if Mr. LZ is ever going to consider doing an RWB kit on his Porsche. I doubt he would because he definitely seems like more of the function over form type of guy. But it definitely feels like the next baller move for him. That's pretty cool. Gives me that whole Scooby Doo kind of vibes. Hey, here's something I, I can appreciate. A nice little Latasha. This is cool. This is cool. All right. Damn, he's got it slammed on work equips too. Yeah, that's nice. You know, lately I've been seeing a lot of these MR2s. I think it's a sign. We need to get some uh, more love happening for these things. Especially this version. What is it, like the SW20 or something? Not 100% sure. Hey, 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 33 GTR. I've seen this at um, Daikoku PA a fair bit. Nice little Suzuki Swift. There's a huge cult following for the Swifts here in Japan. Dodge. That's cool. Damn. They look so aggressive and wide in the front. Man, they're a big car. Let's see what else is just here in the normal car park. Yo, yo, I think I found a Itasha Evo. I found another Evo there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, hang on. Let's just go aisle by aisle. This is cool. This is cool. All right, all right. It's kind of slammed. Some chromies. He's um, a big fan of these dolls. If you guys don't know much about the whole dolls thing, um, Google it. I'll let you guys judge that. This is nice, debadged and everything. I find that this is kind of cool how he's like slapstick at it, but then cut it out to be the perfect shape of the window. That's a cool idea, I like that. Hell yeah, you guys should do that with unemployed and sma guys in smash stickers. <laughs> Nice, nice. Wait, wait, wait. Was that a uh, NRG wheel? Yeah, what's up? Pimping out my sponsors. And then over here, this looks like uh, a weeb that became a dad, or he's just into sound. Uh, this is cool, nice. And the, the quality of these wraps really is amazing. Like, there's no, like, the closer you get, there's no pixelization or anything. Really nice. That's why it's so expensive to do your entire car here, and normally they do it piece by piece. But that's nice, okay. Very nice. A little quick release hub as well. NRG wheel. Yeah, my boy. Hey, hey, hey. Nice. It's an Evo 9, right? Or is it an 8? I can never tell between the 9s and 8s. Maybe I'm just special. I don't know. But Wang game. Looking fresh. Fair bit of carbon fiber on this car, it looks like. I like, yeah. Carbon fiber fenders, side skirts, wing. It's pretty cool. Have a quick look at his interior. Works build, quick release, really nice. And then uh, let's go to the next, whoa, this thing's actually kind of cool. 
nice and slammed on 17s. It's a bit odd. Normally you see people running like 19s and 10, uh, sorry, 19s and 18s. Very nice. <laughs> There's like a thing there saying no filming, but we're at a car meet. <laughs> that makes no sense. Super nice. I love these old school crowns. They really are nice. Whoa. GDR V spec, hey? Is it a real GDR though? That's the real question. It's got the Brembos. It's got the centerpiece and the, the multifunction display. It's got a really badly uh, reupholstered interior that's all peeling up. It's got the whitish fenders. I don't know, man. I have, I have my doubts on this. This could be a really good copy. Yeah, I don't know, man. I feel like a GTR owner wouldn't let their seats get into that bad condition. Look at that. But it could be a GTR, though. It definitely has the wide rear. Everything else about it is correct. Who knows? But still, nonetheless, it's cool. Rexy STI. You guys are gonna stop complaining. I give Subarus enough attention when they need it. And then, uh, this is an Evo 10, and it's completely Atasha wrapped. This looks very sexy. Just because it's got all those kind of lurid colors on there, you know what I mean? <laughs> Very, very cool. Yo, the whole bonnet, that's sick. I love me some good Atasha wrap. Damn, like the pink kind of pastel kind of colors all the way through. Got a shrine girl there, it's kind of nice. Running a Sparko Evo seat. Work spell quick release. Rally out, Wang. Look, the Wang's not as high as I'd like to see it, but good job on having a Wang on the lease that's wider than the car. Some slapstick is, man, there's a lot of pink and butterflies going on in the rear end. That's the only thing I don't like about this, this wrap. Nice back there. It's really good. Wheel choice is all right too, running some works. Don't mind the tire paint as well. This little yin yang thing up the top. It's pretty cool. I wonder if it's owned by a female or a guy. There's a lot of pink on this car, so I'm gonna guess female, but this is Japan, so probably it's a guy. Hey, there we go. We got a chaser here, Itasha style. This is what I love about UDX. You can always come here and find cars parked, even though there's like a car meet happening over there, you'll still find cars like this parked here. It's really nice. He's got some poke in the front, so maybe he may, might have an angle kit, but I don't want to say. Looks like he's running some, uh, obviously, Idol Master uh, wrap there. In the rear, he's running some spaces to get his wheels out far enough. Nice, kind of nice fitment. Wraps pretty decent condition as well. The car's relatively clean. Got some nice kind of canyards or... Oh, he's got the whole piece under there. That's really nice, actually. Looks good, looks good. Nice chaser. Running a Momo drifting wheel. Pretty interesting dildo shifter in there as well. Really nice. And then over here, there's a... Well, it looks like a really clean S15, actually. And it's got those trippy headlights that are sold on Yahoo auctions. These kind. They look kind of sick, but at the same time, I don't like them. Like, you know, they look cool, but I don't think I'd put them on my cars. Still, nonetheless, really cool. You got the 15 number plate. It's kind of like everything in the car is really nice. Oh, yo, Yashio Factory, Okachan, water temp, meter one. Those things are starting to get rare and hard to find. I think, like, the best thing is, is little, little Wang game? That's not the best thing, but I think the best thing is, is, like, the car's so clean that it looks bland. You know what I mean? Like, wheel choice and stuff like that. It looks kind of, like, just ma-ma, like, bland. Futsu. Which is good, though, because it gives you the impression that this thing has not been molested at all. But the front has, you can see a tiny bit of camber here, and it's got a bit of poke, a bit of wheel spacer, I think he's got knuckles on this, just... Yeah, I think he does. There you go. Still, nonetheless, really nice S15 and looks like a really good uh, platform to start on for some big mods. Let's see what else we can find. So this is cool, a little STI hatch with kind of like a, a stealthy style Itasha wrap. I like it. It's kind of like, almost like in gr different color grays of the car to blend in. It's really cool. That's a unique idea, I like that. And then here, we've got a Mark II. Oh, that's cool. Uh, holler at me in the comment section if you know what anime this girl's from. You guys, you guys should know. 
If you if you're a real Japan like JDM fan, you should know that anime. <laughs> Um, but damn, there's some cool stuff here. Yo, this is really cool because it's like the style of the trucks here. All right, we'll take a quick look at that in a second. The link themed little car. Um, yo, this is cool. I don't see, like these are so hard to find these days, these cars. The fact that it's also Tasha wrapped is awesome. Kind of cool. You know, I don't think I've seen any of the, the magical girl, um, anime done that much on Itasha Rap, so he's definitely a hardcore fan. This is pretty old now. I think this anime was like made in like early, early 2000s, maybe even the 1990s. I can't remember when it came out, but it was a good series. I, I can remember watching the entire thing. Really cool. All right, let's, let's go back over and take a look at this little Link truck. So I, I've forgotten the name in Japanese for this kind of like style truck thing. Um, there's a specific name, but I can't remember. But anyways, it's like an entirely Link themed little Honda K car and they've put this piece here which is what you see on all the trucks here in Japan. Super cool. And as you can see the Link theme kind of goes on. He's got all these girlfriends there on the passenger seat. Very cool. <laughs> Zelda. Did I just... Wait. Hang on a second here. Am I like the worst person in the world? Did I just get Link and Zelda mixed up? I totally did. I, I'm a terrible person. No, but that's Link. Oh my god. I am so confused right now. I give up. I never played Zelda, so you can't you can't hate me for that. But sorry. Not sorry. Another Tasha wrapped kind of van. Loving the wheels though, they kind of match the wrap. Super cool. I love his sticker. Ataku Hunters. <laughs> That's awesome. So this meet is kind of interesting. It's got a little bit of like a Tokyo Auto Salon vibe. Bunch of models, people kind of fanning out, getting their cameras out, going a bit crazy for them. Um, but at the same time, I definitely have to say, it feels like I'm definitely, like this is not the kind of meet that I'd go to just because the kind of cars that are here are not my kind of cars, you know what I mean? Like they're definitely cool, I can appreciate them, but like they're totally out of my budget range, you know what I mean? Okay, yeah, models everywhere. But like, damn, what are these, like 20 inch wheels? Freaking huge. All I see when I look at these things is how much money's on that and how many GTRs that would build me. <laughs> but still, nonetheless, like, I can appreciate every car here, for sure. I think out of all the cars here, this one has to be my favorite just because of how unique, like, the paint work is. Like, that's, that's not a wrap, that's, that's paint. Very cool. The wheels, the lights, how it all blends together. I love it. Um, where are all my Australians at right now? There you go. Someone brought one into Japan and is driving it here. What? What? What is that doing here? I guarantee you that's like a super expensive car for Japan as well. Yet. Yeah. They're kind of like a dime a dozen in Australia. <laughs> Never gets old. I just realized that this is a pole for pole dancing at a car meet. Only in Japan would that happen. Okay, so that is definitely enough of that meet for me today. Let's get out to Akiba and check out some cool weave stuff. So for some reason, I never checked the weather today. And uh, if you can tell, everyone's got umbrellas now really starting to rain pretty hard. So I'm gonna head back to the station and call it quits. Um, but if you do want to see any more like cool Akihabara stuff, I've got heaps of videos on my channel, like Japan 101 episodes and things like that from like a, a year ago that you can check out that really showcase Akihabara. Go check them out. But for now, I'm gonna jump on the train and get back to where I park my car. So back in the car with May, and what did you just find? My dream car that if I have the money I want, I want. Yeah, what kit. about the body kit? You want the body kit too? Yes, I want the body kit. You guys kit. ready for this? You want to see her dream car? I bet you, I bet you, everyone in the comment section, put your guess right now what you think it is. All right, three, two, one, let's go. Bam. R35 GTR with a Liberty Walk body kit. Would you drive it that low to the ground though? I want the... The air <laughs> suspension? Really? You really want that? What the <laughs> frick, man? My wallet's crying right now. But that is cool. And the Wang game is so strong. Damn, that's sexy. Putting the wife to work, making her fill up the car with gas. 
Yeah, boy. Do you enjoy filling up my car with gas? I enjoy filling you up with the gas. <laughs> that was terrible.